Question 9 is about slope and equations of lines. Here you have been given a point which passes through a line that is perpendicular and the equation of a perpendicular line is given. But we need to find the equation for this line whose only points are given. How would we do it? So since they have told it's perpendicular, we can find something about the slope, isn't it? Then once we have slope and points done, we can find the equation. We have write in slope intercept form. That is fine. We'll write it later on. But how would we get this? From here, just focus at the slope. If it's in slope intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b. As long as y is having a coefficient of 1, then whatever is the coefficient of x, that is the slope. Oh yeah, there is no other x term, only one x term. So slope is half. But for perpendicular line, if you multiply the slope of other line, it must be minus 1. So here, if you take it to the other side, m is equal to minus 2. So the slope of this line must be negative 2. Another way to understand, you know, the slope, you know, this is reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of half? The reciprocal of half is 2. Reciprocal of 2 is half. You know, just whatever is down goes up or whatever is up goes down. If it is 2 by, say, 3, then the reciprocal will be 3 by 2. This is the concept. But here, don't forget, you need to add negative sign. It's negative reciprocal. So these are all the slopes of these perpendicular. If these two are slopes, they are all perpendicular. So now we are looking at this. I can tell reciprocal is 2 and negative. So this is the slope of the equation. Now, once I have the slope, I can use different type of formulas but the easiest one would be y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 this m and y and x will remain now what is y1 and x1 this is it x1 y1 now substitute your y minus of minus 4 is equal to m into x minus of minus 7 so it'll be plus 7 okay i've written directly Minus of minus 7 will be plus 7. Even over here, it will be y plus 4 is equal to m. Now, what is m? m is negative 2. So, negative 2 over here is m. Multiply it. Minus 2x minus 14. Take this 10 to the other side. It will be y is equal to negative 2x minus 18. Why? Because this goes to the other side. It becomes negative 4. And that's the equation of the line. So let's check the answer. It must be negative 2x minus 18 and that's the correct answer. Now I'll show you some shortcut methods as well. The reliability of the shortcut methods is high but not always accurate because there are some type of problems it may not be helpful. But for such problems, right, you'll have four equations as the answer, right? So what you do is, what is the x value? Minus 7. So here, minus 2. You can type as x and calculate it or instead of x, I'll directly type this x value. What is that? Minus 7 minus 18. Now press equal to this must match the y value. Yes, this is correct. And also you need to check for the slope. If this is having half, it will be negative 2 slope. Yes, that's correct. So the first thing in the four options, what you do is check for the slope. Okay, if it's half, it will be minus 2. And you will eliminate at least two options like that. So only two answers will remain. Then substitute this x value. You must get this answer. That is correct. So this is how we can solve it up. Now here again similar. Now they have told the line is parallel to y is equal to 7. Okay. What is y is equal to 7 line? The line is over here like this at 7. It's a straight line. What is the slope here? This is the equation, right? Let's write it as in terms of y is equal to mx plus b. What do you get now? Do you get anything? No, x is 0, isn't it? So you just get y is equal to 7. This is 0x. So the slope is 0 here. So what if the slope is 0? Now let's try to write the equation y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This is basically the slope formula if you're wondering how I got that m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. It's just that this is written as y and x and taken to the other side you get that answer. So this is the slope formula if you're thinking. Now here y as it is 
y1 x1 i directly write plus 10 you know because it's mcq you don't need to write all the steps directly the answer is required so here it will be plus 10 is equal to m is 0 so i don't even need to substitute even if i substitute it won't make a difference here it is plus 1 but this is all 0 so y will be equal to what minus 10 this is the correct answer so y is equal to minus 10 is the answer you can see that's the equation but can you do this in the calculator the answer is yes but it is a bit tricky so that's why i wanted to show you the exact method as well you know this is the correct answer but what if you have some other equation having similar thing it might be confusing so there's one way to remember whenever you have lines parallel to y is equal to x like this you know parallel like this the slope is always zero so you won't have x term then you can understand doesn't matter this term you have to just focus on the minus 10 is it matching minus 10 yes that would be the answer there is no nothing you can do in calculator because you put minus 10 is there any x term where is the x term it's 0x plus of minus 10 0x minus 10 now calculate anything at minus 1 or 0 or anything the answer will be the same thing right so the answer is the same because it's just a straight line doesn't matter what x value the value of y is always minus 10 itself it's over here down so such problems tend to be confusing in calculator so it's better to do it by the formula itself all the others are just the same now here it's a parallel line so i'll solve it up the slope is negative two-thirds now let's solve it here y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1 so y minus 2 will be equal to same slope because it's parallel two-thirds of x minus 6 now what you do is y minus 2 will be equal to negative two-thirds x plus two-thirds because minus minus is plus times 6 over here one time two time it will be 4 and negative two-thirds x and this one y is equal to this 2 comes over here it will be plus 2 this becomes 6 okay I've just written this is 6 so it's negative two-thirds plus 6 as the answer now let's do it in calculator as well so I've typed this equation in the calculator negative two-thirds x what is the x value given 6 plus 6 the answer is 2 yes it matches this will be a correct answer so that is how we can check the equation because if any other equation is giving the same answer that means that is also correct it cannot be you know only one separate answer will be there so one unique equation will be giving this correct values similarly you can solve these i'll just write the slope here it's minus 5 so what happens is reciprocal of 5 is this thing 1 by 5 and minus becomes minus minus plus so this is the slope you can see one fifth is the slope you solve it up and you get the answer now here they have done a long method okay they're using slope intercept form and then solving it back what i just showed you the method is much easier so i'll just show you again it is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 this is the formula all you do is substitution since points are given consider them as x1 y1 so y minus 2 is equal to one fifth of x minus of minus will be plus two now we just solve it up y will be one fifth x two by five plus two by five and this goes to the other side will be plus two so the answer over here will be two will be uh, in terms of five so multiply five and five will be one fifth x plus two fifth plus 10 by 5 you have to make the denominator same so multiply up and down by 5 you'll get 10 by 5 so the answer over here is 12 by 5 plus 1 fifth x equals y let's check that's the correct answer you don't need to do it in uh, you know mind you can just do it in calculator you'll get this answer so this is how we do it and you might get this as 2.4 2.4 is same as 12.5 so just be careful with that if you get decimal you can convert this fraction to decimal and check the answers so this is how we can solve these problems okay now here they have changed the value uh, changed the type of problem a line containing 4 comma minus 2 and x comma minus 6 is perpendicular to the line containing this now what do we do is they have told 
these two points are perpendicular to these two points, right? So over here, we have all the necessary values x1, y1, x2, y2. We can easily find the slope from this formula that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. This is the slope formula. Now let's substitute it over here. What is y2? It's negative 4. You can interchange this, it's fine, doesn't matter. Minus 4 minus of negative 9 divided by x2 is 3 minus of minus 2. Now here, my, you can just put in the calculator, you get the answer directly. Or let's just solve it up over here, plus 2. So it is 5 by 5, the answer is 1. So now reciprocal of 1 is what? 1 by 1 is 1 only. But remember, you have to add the minus sign. So the slope over here is negative 1. If you know the slope, we can find this x, right? See, now we know the slope. We just use the same formula. This unknown x value can be found out. Now, here they have just asked you to find x or y. Okay, value of x or y. They do, you don't need to find the equation. So, what we will do is m is equal to, again, the same formula. I'll not write the formula again and again. Just x1 y1 x2 y2 so it's minus 6 minus of minus 2 divided by x minus 4 but what is the slope here this is minus 1 so let's take this entire thing to the other side it will be minus 1 times x minus 4 is equal to solve this up minus and minus becomes plus 2 minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4 now you can divide both the sides by minus 1 to remove the sign or you can multiply the minus sign inside. It will be minus x plus 4 is equal to minus 4. Take this x to the other side and minus 4 to the other side because we need x as positive. So it will become 4 plus 4 is equal to x. 8 is equal to x. Now, if you are wondering how this happened, I will show you directly in the calculator. Now this one over here is 4. Okay, That's 4. Now you can use your calculators. We will just type this out entirely. Negative 1 equals alpha cal gives you equal. And over here we have negative 6 minus of minus 2 divided by unknown variable is x. That is alpha and this symbol over here. Minus 4 shift and solve. The answer is 8. X value is 8. You need to press shift solve and then equal to. Only then you get the answer. Now let's just check the answer. The x value must be 8, but they are asking for slope again. But remember here, guys, they have clearly mentioned find the value of x. In the exam, if they ask you to find the value of x, this is the answer, 8. But if you want to find the slope, it's very simple. We already found, uh, I mean, the slope equation. We found the slope. Just use these two points and solve it up. I'll show you here. Take any two points from this, x and y, uh, this one, x1, y1. I can take this y because this is unknown. But we found this is 8. You can even take this, but it's better we'll take the known values itself. y minus y2 equals m into x minus x2. Substitute the values. Here will be minus of minus 2 equals slope was negative 1. Because over here the slope was 1, we found out reciprocal, negative reciprocal is negative 1. Only for 1, it will be 1 itself. But if it is say 2, the reciprocal will be 1 by 2 and negative would be minus half. But here, since it's going down to be 1 by 1, so it's same, just negative 1. x minus 4. Now simplify this. y is equal to plus 2, that is equal to minus x plus 4 y equals, take this 2 to the other side, it becomes minus 6 plus 4 minus 2, y equals negative x plus 2. This is the answer. But remember, this is just to find the equation. We had to find x. They have clearly told, find the value of x. So whatever I just did a while ago, the x value was 8. That is the actual method for solving this. So now they have just, okay, they have done the x value over here. But since they have directly asked you to you know, find the x value you can directly find. But the equation is already done. We know how to do the equation the same way you can do it. So this is how. See, now there are various methods to do it. I directly found the x value. Over here, the equation was found out. And then they are solving x value. 
by just substituting this minus 6 as y and then finding out the x. This is also possible, but it's a bit lengthier. That's the graph. Okay, graphing, you can easily find it in your calculators. Say you know the equation. So where the equation was given, so just type the value minus x plus 2. There is table method as well, but since your graphs will be given as option, this is an easier method. Let's assume x to be 0. So calculate at x is equal to 0 and press equal to. What is the value? y must be 2. It matches. Now let's change the value. Let me take x as 4. Sorry, not that. It's minus x plus 2. Now calculate at x is equal to 4. The value must be minus 2 now. Yes, it is matching. Now what about minus 6? Let me calculate at negative 6. The answer is 8. And yes, so this is the correct graph. Only one graph will match all the points. All the others will uh, give you wrong answers. It won't be the same. That's how we solve this. Now over here, it's the same thing again, but it's just parallel. So what you need to do is this line is uh, points are given. We need to find the y value over here and the equation for this. First, solve for the slope. m is equal to x1, y1, x2, y2. I'll directly write it's y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus of minus y1 will become plus 4. Now here the answer will be minus 6 by 8 or you can write it as minus 3 by 4. That is negative 0 0.75. Now this is the same slope for this equation. That's it. Now we found out the slope. Use this over here. You can use the same formula. But over here m value is known to be negative 3 by 4 and you can solve it up. So over here you can see the slope is negative 3 fourth, and it's the same one. Over here, they have done the long, met, uh, long method, found the B value, found the equation, and then solved it. But you can directly put the slope formula and get the Y value. Easily, you can solve it up. So please do try this by yourselves. And this is the graph. Graphing can, graphs can be checked easily by putting this equation in the calculator and solving it. And that's the end of this question 9. Just remember the formulas of slope-intercept form and the slope formula and you can easily solve this type of problems.